name's Andrew. I'm one of the managers at Politics and Prose, and I'm going to read a portion from Ulysses by James Joyce. And Jackie Caffrey shouted to look. There was another, and she leaned back, and the garters were blue to match on account of the transparent, and they all saw it, and they all shouted to look, look, there it was, and she leaned back ever so far to see the fireworks, and something queer was flying through the air, a soft thing, to and fro, dark, and she saw a long Roman candle going up over the trees, up, up, and in the tense hush they were all breathless with excitement as it went higher and higher, and she had to lean back more and more to look up after it, high, high, almost out of sight, and her face was suffused with a divine, entrancing blush from straining back, and he could see other things too, Nansook knickers, the fabric that caresses the skin, better than those other petty wit, the green, four and eleven, on account of being white, and she let him, and she saw that he saw, and then it went so high it went out of sight a moment, and she was trembling in every limb from being back, bent so far back that he had a full view high up above her knee, where no one ever, not even on the swing, or waiting, and she wasn't ashamed, and he wasn't either, to look in that immodest way like that, because he couldn't resist the sight of the wondrous revealment half offered, like those skirt dancers behaving so immodest, before gentlemen looking, and he kept on looking, looking. She would fain have cried to him chokingly, held out her snowy slender arms to him to come, to feel his lips, laid on her white brow, the cry of a young girl's love, a little strangled cry wrung from her, that cry that has rung through the ages, and then a rocket sprang, and bang, shot, blind, blank, and oh, then the Roman candle burst, and it was like a sigh of oh, and everyone cried oh, Oh, in raptures, and it gushed out of it, a stream of rain, gold, hair, threads, and they shed, and ah, they were all greeny, dewy stars, falling with golden, oh, so lovely, oh, soft, sweet, soft, then all melted away dewily in the gray air, all was silent, ah, she glanced at him as she bent forward quickly, a pathetic little glance of piteous protest shy reproach, under which he colored like a girl. He was leaning back against the rock behind. Leopold Bloom, for it is he, stands silent with bowed head before those young, guileless eyes. What a brute he had been. At it again, a fair, unsullied sullied soul had called to him, and wretch that he was, how had he answered, an utter cad he had been, he of all men. But there was an infinite store of mercy in those eyes, for him too a word of pardon, even though he had erred and sinned and wandered.